Great. Should I hit the opening hymn now? Not yet. We'll Not yet. Okay, but okay. this is our time to make sure everybody's gathered and they have their bread. They have everybody in their house. Thank you all for tuning in and watching again on this epic unknown journey. Chris, welcome. It's really nice to be back. Isn't it? For real, it's nice to be back in the apron. It is. I love it here. Especially with all the frankincense. It feels very healthy. <laughs> there you not a germ alive. Not a single germ alive. I've been coming every morning by in here by myself to pray. And I've had incense lit every morning. Mm. And it's just reeking of it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, it's like a beautiful you can spot. smell the prayer. Yeah. Hi, Scott. Morning. So we're going to begin with a hymn. Here's a hymn then... that everybody can sing along with. I okay, think. good. Yeah. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame And I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sinners was Cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a cross I will ever be true its shame and reproach gladly bear then he'll call me someday to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share so I'll share Exchange it someday for a crown and exchange it someday for a crown. Our prayers begin today for all those who are still working who are our everyday, beautiful, amazing heroes who are carrying our community even as they go out and serve food and as they go out and are health care workers and who go out and still take care of the children, who still go out and are policemen and firemen. God bless you. Our prayers are with you. And for all those who are at home and who have taken that responsibility onto themselves of flattening this curve, and loving one another from a distance. God bless us all through these times. May the Lord be with you. Also with you. Oh, I have to do that other part. And also with you, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> God, grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise. That among the swift and varied changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found. In Jesus' name, amen. The first reading today is from Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley, and it was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, mortal, mortal, can these bones live? I answered him, O oh Lord, you know. 
Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews in them, and flesh has come upon them, and skin has covered them. But there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord, come from the four winds, O breathe and breathe upon these slain that they may live. And I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. Oh, Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. And then Michael Kelsch walks up <laughs> and does his best Beatles impression. Give me love, give me love, give me peace on earth, give me light, give me light.
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, from the village where Mary and her sister Martha lived. And he was ill. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. And when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Just a few weeks ago, I was in the Kalahari Desert. I traveled there after spending some time at the Holy Cross Hospice. I want to come back to the hospice in just a few moments, but I wanted to make sure that I express to you their love and gratitude for all the support that we have provided for them over the past 15 years. Thank you. The Kalahari Desert, which covers most of Botswana, is a vast, dry desert that stretches some 350,000 square miles. While stunningly vast and simply beautiful, I was not prepared for the insights that the desert would offer, namely how to stay connected and grounded in seasons of dryness and isolation and social distancing. Insight number one. The first lesson from the desert came on a day when I was not feeling so well. My driver was a Bushman, part of the San tribe, the tribe that archaeologists surmise gave birth to modern civilization. On one particular morning, my guide drove me to part of the desert that took my breath away. It was the great salt pans. From north to south, from east to west, all I could see was glimmering salt. Likely once the home of a river before the tectonic play, plates shifted and made a desert some 10,000 years ago. Since it seemed that there were no wild beasts inside, I asked my guide if he would stop that I might walk around and touch and taste and smell the salt. To be honest, I was feeling hot and a little woozy, probably from eating all those zebra burgers. I needed some fresh air. I knelt down in the sand, wondering about the virus that was spreading around the world, praying for the good people of Botswana, and for all of you back here in Nashville, when my guide asked me a question, for a Scott, he said, do you know the cry of the Kalahari? 
I faintly remember that the cry of the Kalahari was a book title, but I had no clue what my guide was asking. My Bushman friend, well, he answered his own question, reminding me of the prophet Ezekiel, who preached a cryptic sermon in the Babylonian desert some a thousand years before Jesus. Salt. Love like salt is the cry from the Kalahari. Jesus said something similar. You are the salt of the earth. That is, in times of feeling disconnected, when it feels like we're in a dry season, a desert, there is an invitation for you and me to love like salt, indiscriminately, humbly, seeking to enhance others through simple acts of kindness, like writing a letter of gratitude, or sharing your smile with each person in your home, perhaps calling an older person just to check in. Like yesterday, I phoned my older friend Becca just to see how she was doing. Seriously though, there are innumerable ways that we can love like salt in this proverbial desert that we are all in together. Insight number two came on the morning, the next morning in the desert. My Bushman friend, this guide, who was starting to feel like a shaman, a healer, he asked me if I would like to take a walk to see how his tribe used to live off the land. He handed me a leather pouch, which he said was made from an antelope, and inside of the bag, inside of the pouch, was a bow and arrow and a spear and a couple of sticks. I must have made a really funny face because he spoke with great emphasis. Fara Scott, pay attention. As we walked through the desert, he would stop and say, pay attention, these berries are for eating. Pay attention, this plant is for healing. Pay attention, these tracks belong to a lion. As we stopped, he took the two sticks out of the leather pouch. Pay attention, he said. And yes, believe it or not, he made a fire by rubbing those two sticks together. Father Scott, this is the cry of the Kalahari. Pay attention. Through Holy Scripture, across cultures, and in every religion, the desert, while always being a challenging place to be, is a gift that can teach us how to pay attention to this truth. We are never less alone than when alone. The final insight that I'd like to share came not from the desert per se, but at the Holy Cross Hospice, which is in the capital city of Haberoni. As was their custom one afternoon, I was having a cup of red bush tea talking with the nurse about the challenges and blessings of hospice care, especially what it was like for them some 20 years ago when the AIDS epidemic hit their country and everyone was living in fear and isolation. Just while we were talking, there was a knock on the door. Cuckoo, hello, my name is Boitamello. I wish I could describe her smile. It was so radiant. Her words were so joyful. Her presence was alive. She asked me, do you remember me? I shook my head. I didn't. She went on, I met you with your friends two years ago from who were here from Nashville. I was a patient at the Holy Cross Hospice. I was a sack of bones, she said. I was so weak and tired, I could barely breathe. I felt like I was alone in the desert. But the hospice staff loved me, lifting my head to feed me. And I remember your friends hearing them laugh while they painted the walls and while they repaired the floor. And your daughter sang a song that helped me to remember that God 
is breath. All I had to do, she said, all I could do was to keep breathing. Thank you, thank you, she said. This is the third insight from the desert. Keep breathing. Becoming aware as best we can that each gift that you and I have is a gift from God. For God is the breath within the breath. Let's share some silence. I invite you to take a couple of deeper than normal breaths Aware, what is your greatest desire today for yourself and for others? Whatever that prayer is, I invite you to listen to the words of this song, of this prayer. The storm is coming, but I don't mind. People are dying, I close my blinds. All that I know is I'm breathing now. I want to change the world instead I sleep I want to believe in more than you and me but all that I know is I'm breathing all I can do is keep breathing. All we can do is keep breathing now, now, now. All that I know is I'm breathing. All I can do is keep breathing. All we can do is keep breathing now. Let us pray. O oh God of love and light, your mercies are new every morning. And we give thanks to you this morning for the birth of Ronan and pray your blessings on him and on his parents, Laura and Andrew. We pray for comfort for all those who are grieving, especially for the family of Christy and the loss of her dad's cousin. We pray for Wayne and his family. We pray, O oh God, for all those who need your healing, who need to be reminded of your presence. Pray that you would be with Lewis, who broke his hip, and watch over Christy. Pray for comfort for Peter and Christine. And Sandy, watch over Terry's dad, and be with Maddie. Thank you for Allison and pray that you would bless her along with Anne Ray and Louise. Pray for Shane and Emily's newborn baby. Watch over Shannon and Peter and Ben. May your healing be with Kylie and Milton. We pray, oh God, for all those who are working in hospitals would you surround them with your angels of healing? And for our world leaders, 
including our Governor Bill and President Donald, may the good of reason prevail and may wisdom reign in this world. Be with those who are on our hearts this morning. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent that all that enslaves us for all we have done and all we have left undone. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, forgive you all of your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you. Just a couple notes this morning. One is that you can continue to give through Venmo at staugustinschapel.com. It's the way we're keeping going. If you know people who need help at their home, we can deliver food. We have delivered as a community more than 50 boxes this week. And we have requests for food from every quadrant of our city. So all the Venmo contributions that come in today, if you say front porch pantry, we will buy food and deliver food for folks. And also supplies. We have Susan up in the mountains hidden away that is buying supplies for us and we're ready to go. I brought about five boxes just here this morning. Thank you to everybody that has delivered right to my front porch, 2902 Overlook Drive. Susan is also from the safety of the mountains, I might add is ordering and the palms are being delivered by Tuesday of this week. And what we are asking everyone to do for Palm Sunday, you can pick up palms here in front of the chapel at 200 24th Avenue South or on the porch at my house, 2902 Overlook Drive. Pick up some palms for your family, for yourself and take a photo. If you send it to us at anybody on our website, what we're gonna do next week for Palm Sunday is we're gonna have a montage of people holding palms. <laughs> we are gonna stay community in this distance. That's we neat. are gonna remember that. that love goes beyond six feet. We are gonna remember that we can continue to care for each other and be generous, even when everything wants us to close in and shut down just because we're apart. It's just like Scott said, in the midst of a desert, there is breath, and there is life, and there is joy. So join us. Give through Kindful. Give through Venmo. Be a part of this. Get your bread ready for this agape meal we're fixing to have. I love you all crazy. Scott loves you crazy. Do you love everybody I crazy? I sure do love everybody crazy. Crazy <laughs> right now. It's crazy. It's and we crazy. are going to be together. And when we do, I promise you, we are going to dance. We are going to have those dry bones dancing together. Let us walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us in offering and sacrifice to God. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming flowers that brightly blaze 
Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Weathered faces lined in pain Are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand Now I understand what you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now But they could not love you But still your love was true and when no hope was left in sight On that starry, starry night You took your life as lovers often do But I could have told you, Vincent This world was never meant For one as beautiful as you Starry, starry night Portraits hung in empty halls Frameless heads on nameless walls With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Like the strangers that you've met The ragged men in ragged clothes The silver thorn of bloody rose Lie crushed and broken on the virgin snow now I think I know What you tried to say to me How you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they're not listening still Perhaps they never will Blessed are you, O Lord, our God. You bring forth bread from the earth and offer Jesus as the bread of life. Grant that we who daily seek the bread, which sustains our bodies, may also hunger for the feast of love. The table of bread is now to be made ready. It is the company with Jesus and all who love him. It is the table of sharing with the poor of the world with whom Jesus identified himself. It is the table of the communion with the earth in which Christ became incarnate. So come to this table that represents remembrance for the forgotten, companionship to the lonely, comfort for the sick, liberation for those who are oppressed, healing for the wounded, hope for the disparaged, and the good news of the kingdom of God. It is Christ who invites us and meets us here. Bless this bread to our use. Let it fill us with humility and courage to keep walking this road together. As we break and eat this bread, as we fast from community, let us eat with hope that someday soon we will break bread together. We offer all this in the name of the Holy and Blessed One, whose only desire for us is to love. Amen. Christ, our love, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. I invite you now to say the prayer of St. Francis with me, and then we'll close with the final song. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there, where is, there is hatred, hatred let, let us sow love. love. Where there, where there is, is injury, pardon. Where there, where there is, is discord, union. Where, where there, there is doubt, faith. faith where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, 
and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. May the peace of Christ, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Comforter, be with you today and always. Amen. Closing him. Closing him. Ezekiel connected them dry bones. Ezekiel connected them dry bones. Ezekiel connected them dry bones. Now hear the word of the Lord. Oh, well, your toe bone connected to your foot bone. Your foot bone connected to your heel bone. Your heel bone connected to your ankle bone. Your ankle bone connected to your leg bone. Your leg bone connected to your knee bone. Your knee bone connected to your Thigh bone, your thigh bone connected to your hip bone, your hip bone connected to your backbone, your backbone connected to your shoulder bone, your shoulder bone connected to your neck bone, the neck bone connected to your head bone. Now hear the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Them bones, them bones are gonna walk around. Now hear the word of the Lord. Connected to you, a neck bone, neck bone connected to you, shoulder bone, shoulder bone connected to you, backbone, your backbone connected from you, hip bone, your hip bone connected from you, thigh bone, your thigh bone connected from you, knee bone, your knee bone connected from you, leg bone, your leg bone connected from you, ankle bone, your ankle bone connected to you, heel bone, heel bone connected from you. Foot bone, your foot bone connected to your toe bone. Hear the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Now hear the word of the Lord. Now hear the word of the Lord. God asked me to do that one. Hear the word of God. Amen, everybody.